Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another card making tutorial. Today we are going to be creating a set of five cards featuring brand new products from the Alt New April release and the amazing new Alt New stamp wheel. It is perfect for stamp layering and what is really special is this new Delightful Day stamp set, which is a stamp layering set that I used and featured on my set of five cards, is made to work specifically with the stamp wheel. So easy. So I am gonna flip my cover over and see that little cross in the center? I am going to take out my stamp set. We're gonna start with the flowers and the flowers are all connected. They are not individual stamps. And I am going to line this up with my stamp wheel, making that cross line up with the cross in the center of my cover. I have, I think these are about six by six sheets of white cardstock right here. And I am going to ink up my flowers. Now, there are a couple things about this. I, and here I was just trying to figure out the best cardstock placement. Do I want it in the corner? Do I want it, you know, offset? What do I think is going to work best? Well, you can get four blooms from a six by six sheet of cardstock if you kind of place it in the center. So while I'm fiddling with this, just know that that is going to be the best placement. I just kind of wanted to share just the different ways you could do this. But for me, what I found is I like it in the center. Also, you're going to want to clean your stamp before you move it. You're gonna see me smudge some stuff, which is okay. I was going to already need two different panels for this or for all of the cards I want to make, but I was a little irritated with myself for not cleaning my stamp better. I am using some of my favorite shades of Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated ink today, and you can see that I am going to just be lining these up. I'm gonna do all the color first and then the outline. That's just my preference for how to do this. And I even thought about not doing the outline. What you do is you do a quarter turn and that is perfectly going to line up all of the elements for these flowers. It literally is the easiest thing. Instead of swapping out paper like you might have done in the past, which I have several videos here, I'll even link to one here at the end of this video where I did some stamp layering. Um, it's just quick. It's super quick and easy. And I was, you know, I. I have to admit I was a little on the fence about this, but I love it. So you can see that just the quarter turn. Now, um, Altenew recommends marking four corners. You can see I've got little enamel hearts there in the four corners and then a bigger heart at the top of the stamp wheel to always know kind of and give you a guide of where you're at. And I will say that's probably the best tip ever. When you get your stamp wheel at home, definitely mark it. It it really helps kind of just keep you where you need to be. I am using another color combination. I used Cheeky Blush and Pucker first, and then I am using um, Guava, Watermelon, and Cherry for the second one. I went with a, I'm really into pinks, oranges, and yellows right now. To me, that is just speaking life. It's colorful. It's bright. Uh, it's springy. That's definitely kind of where I'm at right now. And you can see I smudged a couple of spots. Now, honestly, I could probably stamp some pink flowers there and it would be fine. I'm using a microfiber cloth and a little stamp cleaner and I'm going to clean that up really well. I can sit, I probably should have just gone ahead and stamped in those other four corners, but I didn't at this point. I will tell you if you do stamp them, your die is going to fit right up next to them. So I grabbed my die because I wanted to look, I felt like they were going to be too close together to, st to stamp, to die cut correctly, but they will die cut perfectly. So I uh, just wanted to mention that real quick. And I'm just checking everything. Now they're really pretty as is. I do think that final stamp, which I have not stamped yet, the, the outline, is going to give you that final definition. If you want it to be a little more artsy and maybe a little bit softer, don't do the outline. Here I'm just using some charcoal Simon Says Stamp ink. 
and stamping the outline in place. I'm really loving the stamp wheel. I do find it's a huge time saver. I was able to do all of these cards and leaves in an hour maybe, maybe. Um, I was also on the phone at the same time. <laughs> so uh, I, I was kind of doing several things when I was filming this video and it all went really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video a little bit to do the rest of my flowers. I will be doing an orange color combination which is melon, cantaloupe, and sherbet. I will be doing a yellow combination, which will be lemonade, sunbeam, and citrine, and then a pink colored combination, which will be carnation, peony, and rose. So like every shade of pinks and oranges and yellows and reds and just kind of that blush color, I, I wanted to keep in that color family. I also am a huge fan of doing all the flowers in like rainbow and doing a whole set of cards. Altenu is really my go-to for card sets. If you want to give a beautiful set of cards as a gift, um, think Mother's Day, uh, your mother or a sister or an aunt or like a mom or um, anything like that. I love g giving card sets as gifts. Altenew is my go-to because it's just quick and easy and you can easily switch it up. I do want to mention, so let's say you want to make all of your cards in one color. Um, let's say you're going to do all orange. If you, you could literally just stamp all of these um, and not be constantly having to clean and change color necessarily um, and it would be really, really fast. So you can see I'm doing all of these flowers right here. I only need three more. I could have done four, but I did the other two already and I'm doing a set of five today. But you can very, very easily um, stamp all of them and then go ahead and die cut. Look how pretty these are, you guys. Okay, so I am using the Luxurious Motifs embossing folder. And I have a three and three quarters by five inch panel of smooth white cardstock that I went ahead and embossed with that. And then I'm spritzing a little bit of salvaged patina distress oxide ink onto these. Now, I am so sorry, you guys. I accidentally did not get my leaves filmed. I did not notice that my camera went off, I so I apologize for that. It also has a cross in the center, meaning it's going to line up with all of these. And you know what I totally just realized I forgot to do? I forgot to stamp the layering piece in the center of every one of my flowers from the stamp set. Just now, notice that while I'm doing the voiceover. So I will probably go back and fix that, but I did wanna mention it. I am stamping my greetings and I did go ahead and use my stamp wheel for this using some black ink. And I am going to die cut these with the coordinating dies. And I'm just moving my paper and flipping my um, cover around so I can get four of my greetings. I'm using two greetings and I'm stamping one of them three times and one of them twice and then I'm going to die cut everything. Total time for these cards, um, I did have some interruptions, was probably only about um, an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes from start to finish, if that helps at all. Really, really fast. Let's go ahead and remove one of those and stamp one of the others. I do wanna mention the color combination for my leaves stamped exactly like the flowers is Tide Pool, Tropic, and Aegean. I like that color combination. It's just kind of bright and springy. And then a nice black ink. I'm using the Concord and Ninth Black. It's very nice black ink. 
We're going to assemble all of our cards now, and I did go with a little bit smaller background than I normally do. So it's going to leave us with a little bit wider border all the way around when we place this on a white card base. So I wanted it to have like the smooth card base around, and then I wanted it to have the beautiful texture of the luxurious motifs. These embossing folders, look at the detail. It's absolutely stunning and it adds so much texture and interest to the background of the card very minimal splatter um, some of the some of the cards have more splatter than others in fact this is all going to get covered up so I ended up flipping that around um, so that you can see a little bit more of it because I'm positioning the flowers up at the top of the card and then down near the bottom is white space these cards have a lot of white space I don't think they need a whole lot more. We have a beautiful, big, bold floral. I did stamp two leaves per flower, and then we have our sentiment, and the sentiment is kind of grounding it, if you will. So it's almost like the, the flower is tucked back behind that sentiment. I did pop up the flower. I'm gluing the leaves directly to the background of the card, kind of one up and one down just a little bit, and then foam right underneath the larger part of the sentiment, so just some small foam squares underneath that part. And then the top, I'm going to put a little liquid glue because it's layered over the floral. And then we're leaving the rest of the card basically without anything. Um, we're gonna add a few pearls to coordinate with the color of the flower to each design. Let's get it lined up, right? But other than that, super simple, super beautiful. Absolutely love how this looks. I really can't believe you guys that I forgot to stamp the center of the flower. That's so funny. And that I didn't notice it until I did this. Or did the voiceover. Didn't notice it while I photographed my cards. That is the way it goes sometimes. So they're beautiful just as is too. It's okay. <laughs> I should have just left that as my creative, you know, uh, interpretation. <laughs> Five pearls per card. I'm using either Pretty Pink Posh or Trinity Stamps per, for my cards. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the rest of the cards and show you a little peek of them here. Here is a look at all five cards, and yes, I did stamp the center of each of them. I just kind of went back and did that after I had already done most of the rest of this work, but that way you can see how they all look. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of five cards featuring the all to new April 2023 release and the amazing stamp wheel. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There's exclusive content, You'll receive a handmade birthday card from me during your birthday month, monthly lives for my top tier patrons, and more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you're always notified when I have a video or go live. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time.